I kind of grew up watching Danny Boyle's films and I was a massive fan of kind of train spotting and and you know it's one of them kind of castings you go up for and you you get told right it's a Danny Boyle film You're just like wow okay this is one to take serious he's not one of the directors that just kind of do his job he's someone that will look at every single detail so for me personally it was it was such a privilege to work with kind of legend. One of my favourite days filming was when we all, um, we had to shoot quite a lot um, in the van one night and it was when we were all discussing whether we were up for doing some overtime or not <laughs> and uh, we just had to keep driving round and round in a circle and at one point the driver had to slam his brakes on really hard and apparently this is something that the police do a lot as a joke but if somebody slams the brakes on too hard everybody like uh, takes their hats off and like throws them at the driver in the front. So we kept having to do that, but it was funny because Cavan, uh, who plays Clark, he was sat in the front, as was Danny. So we kept hitting them with our hats, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> very childish, but very funny. <laughs> I get a scene in the toilet, which I had quite a lot of fun doing. Um, it's quite rare that TV goes into the toilet. I, I like the idea of filming scenes in toilets. Um, so, yeah, that was probably my favourite bit. I had to face off a large mechanical drone. That was, in parts, really, really fun and genuinely very frightening. And uh, Danny Boyle kept urging me to go closer and closer to the drone, and it was genuinely, I think, genuinely dangerous, because the drone operators kept doing this off-screen, and that was really frightening. But it was quite fun. Yeah. You, you also were really trying to get me close. In yes, character. as a character. <laughs> as a character, let's, let's uh, make that clear. Yeah. I'm a bit of a giggler, and, um, and most of the time, I, it's okay. I do peep show, which I can giggle in because I'm only there for a day, so it's okay that I waste a yeah. couple of hours. And they find they find it kind of cute that this guy is, is laughing all the time. But on this rather long shoot, I think Danny, who I'd worked with before, and I was quite serious, was a bit uh, concerned. I loved working with Britt and Ella. Um, we had a really good um, energy. We didn't have an awfully long time to, to film it, so um, it's really important that you can kind of have a, an instant rapport you know, there's, there's so many police shows that you see and kind of so many dramas and it's police, police, police. And I think this has got a real, it's a real comedy. And I think, you know, it's got drama to it, but I think it's got an element of comedy which hasn't been seen before. I think the writing's been spot on. I think it's got the right amount of drama and I think it's got the right amount of comedy in it. And, and I think it's breaking the boundaries, I really do. And what opening door to the left? We can do this any minute, OK? Any minute, just let the mayor have his coffee. Sure. Just check there aren't any corpses in the back of shop. Why did you get so cynical? It's very unappealing, this corrosive cynicism you guys have, you know that. Big red key. I think what's great about it is that it's got all the fantastic elements that Sam and Jesse bring to all their work and it's got something extra on top of that and then when Danny comes into play because he's such a visual um, director you know you're watching something that is satirical and really quite funny and then the next thing you know, you know, you're in the middle of what looks like an action movie. And I think that's what's great about it. It sort of throws a curveball, and you think, oh, I know what this is. And then you go, oh, I've, actually, I don't know what it is. I really do feel that this has something fresh to it. And it seems very relevant for what's happening right at this moment in time. The whole transparency with the police and um, having to wear cameras. It's like, it feels like we're absolutely in the moment, in the thick of it. And you know, as we set off to film the new series, it feels like we're almost going to be we're going to be doing what the police are experiencing almost at the same time. And I think that's really exciting. <laughs>